Let's see if I can get him to be calm for me for a few minutes while he lays there and eats like a fat dog. Look at all that. That's just, that's his summer coat right there in the middle. And this is his winter coat on both sides that uh, is still there trying to get rid of that winter coat. So you gotta slowly brush it off. But he doesn't like it. It hurts him. Especially this brush right here, actually. I'll start with a different one because he hates that one. But you can see it just slowly come up. See, now he's slowing down. He's like, Dad, stop that. That hurts. He's a pansy. You can see, it just started to come off. Look at that already. Just. So much. So much. Look at all that. You just grab it with your hand and just pull it out. He's like, he's like, yeah, I'm about to be done here, Dad. What well, the reason I got him here right now? Cause he's got this food in front of him. Otherwise, he'd be out of here already. Let's see. Let's try this. This one works the best, but he hates it the most. Look at him. Look at him. He's like, stop it. Stop it. He's not. Yeah, you better pull that food over there. Look at him. Look at him. He's like, you better stop it, Dad. See how much this gets off. See, but he loves it once once you finish. It feels super nice, nice. He loves it. See, look at all that. Look at that. You can just like peel it away like a layer of skin. It's crazy. Like see that? It's just like peeling it off. Wow. Look at under there, just pull it away. What keeps him so so warm in the winter time though. This dog can lay outside in the middle of winter time. He's not see now this is his way of being like stop it, stop it. <laughs> lay in the middle of snow and water and ice. It doesn't even affect him. He could, he loves it. But this weather when it's hot outside, he absolutely hates it. He's like melts outside. But once you brush him and you get rid of his winter coat, you can just tell he feels so much better. He'll run around more and play more and have a lot more fun playing with the other dogs. But right now, when he comes outside, he just like finds the nearest shade and cold dirt and just like lays there until I let him back inside. And he runs inside. Even when you try to let him back outside later, he won't go outside. He'll like, he'll, he'll run away from the door. He like doesn't want to go outside. Usually you can just say the word outside and he freaks out and runs to the door because he loves going outside. But when it gets this hot outside, he won't do it. He'll, he'll, he'll run away from the door because he doesn't want to go outside because he knows it's going to be hot out there. Only when it gets really hot, or during Fourth of July when he hears loud noises, he hates he hates that. So he will also um, run away from the door when you tell him to go outside because he hates that. Yeah, he's not he's not having it, but he knows that he needs to have this done right now because he knows it starts to feel good after I get all this brushed off of him. Look at all this. Look at all that already. It's probably two minutes. Mm. I'm trying to be careful right now too because he does not like it. Usually I don't get to do do a full brush him all the way at one time. That's why I got that little chunks when we first started because I got to do it little bit by little bit day after day because he only lets me do it a little bit at a time because he hates hates it so much. Hates it so much. No, don't leave me yet. Stop it. No. Oh well, that's all I got. See, that's what happens every time. But see, he leaves little chunks of hair everywhere he goes. All this, this is what happens every time. But I also, what I do with this hair is I save it because there's so darn much of it. Is I save it and I donate it to this company. I'll have to put the link in the description for the company. But this company, they use it to pull um, oil out of the ocean because apparently hair absorbs oil better than like anything else i had no idea about that but that's i guess that's why people's hair are always like can get all oily and stuff like greasy and stuff like that nasty but apparently that's um the reason why and apparently they don't get much much donations they only get like a hundred or so like pounds or something in a year which is crazy because this dog would probably give him like 10 of those pounds but all right that's it there's his pool see he likes to lay in that all the time let's see if i can get a little bit more off of it 
quick while he's drinking that water with a different brush. Now he's like, fuck this, I'm loud. Come on, come on. Here, let's try this brush. This brush is nicer, isn't it? You like this one don't, more, don't you? See, yeah, I know you do. Here's a trick though. Okay, see how he's doing this reverse sneezing right here? This right here? Here's how you stop it. If your dog does it, plug your nose for a second. There you go. So reverse sneezing is what some people call that, I guess. But that's how you fix it. It's just plug them up for a second, stop them, stop their breath, and fit their nose, and it'll stop. It's a scary thing. Sometimes you think your dog's having a heart attack or something. Let's see if I can see this right here. This brush doesn't hurt him as much. It doesn't work as well. But he thinks he's just getting pet, so he likes it a lot more. But it doesn't, he doesn't get as much. It's not as helpful, it's not as productive. But he thinks he's just getting getting pet, so it's not as bad. Yeah, see, he's not really getting much. Look at that. It's certainly coming, though. So much fuzz, big boy. So much fuzz. <laughs> this is why you're meant to live in the cold parts. Alaska. Antarctica. The Arctics. Where you're mixed with an Alaska Malamute. Makes sense. Forty percent timber wolf, I think he is, and like uh, thirty percent Malamute. Um, like, a, and then he's got some uh, um, German Shepherds and Husky in them too. Not too much of those. Come here, boy. Come on, let's let's get a little bit more out of you, boy. Come on. You're doing good. You like this brush a little bit more, don't you? I don't like it. I think it's useless. But whatever. It's not getting much. But. I did get him DNA tested from Embark. Got the DNA test on there and it showed what he really was. When I bought him, I was told he was 70% Timberwolf, 30% Alaskan Malamute. But the DNA test came back saying he was something else. He was 40% Timberwolf, 30% Alaskan Malamute, uh, and then like 20% like uh, German Shepherd and like 10% Husky or something like that. I'll have to. I'll have to double check something like that though. Oh, run away, run away, run away, run away. Don't run away. Alright, that's about it. He's not well, now he's laying down. Let's see what we can get. Let's see what we can get out of him. Now he's laying down. He's getting tired. He's tired of running around. It's too hot out here for him to be running around. Let's see. Let's try with this brush. This one. That's okay, buddy. This one pulls it off pretty well too. Not as good as the Furminator, the other one, but it's, again, yeah, see, look at that. He don't like it. He don't like it at all. He won't actually bite me. He'll just, like, he'll just put his teeth on me like that, but he won't actually, like, bite me. He won't actually hurt me. He knows better than that. He's trained well enough. No, no, no he cannot bite me or attack me. Or, he's not, like, a uh, dangerous dog or anything aggressive or anything he would never bite anybody absolutely not there's no way but that's why with wolves you got to be careful of raising them because they can become aggressive if you don't raise them properly and once they become aggressive it's hard to break them out of that habit it's very very hard like with him i made mistakes when i when i was raising him i made it made it um like i would let him like chase down rabbits and squirrels and stuff like that and in the yard because i was cool Terrible mistake, terrible mistake, biggest mistake I made with him because then he sees small dogs and cats as like um like as like prey like that. So then he goes and chases after them. And he has had some run-ins with some small cats and small dogs that were not very good. Not good at all. And cost me some vet vet money and vet bills and yeah, not a good thing. So it's very, very um, oh, there he goes again. Y'all good? Y'all good? Y'all good? Y'all good? Happens a lot when they get excited. 
but he's not getting too excited right now. He's probably just getting stressed out. Yeah? You're stressed out, Bubba? You don't like this? I know you don't. I'm sorry. I love you, though. I know. Can they hear those dogs barking? It's okay. Even his legs have sick all of them. Let's see how much we can get off just a leg. Let's see. Here's a leg. Not too much, but everywhere. It's coming though, it's a work in progress. A few days ago, it was so much more. It's coming slowly. Boy, does he not like it. But he will be glad when it's done. But yeah, you don't wanna train your wolf to chase after um, small animals like squirrels and stuff. It's not a good thing, because you know, then you get a small dog in the yard, he can't tell the difference between that and the some other sort of uh, you know creature, squirrel or something like that goes after it all bad news because I mean he they can kill one of those animals in seconds like you don't have a chance see he hates that you don't have a chance to uh, to stop it I mean once they grab it they immediately fl flick it back and forth and once they do that he's like no I hate that brush they flop it back and forth and it's like it, that snaps his neck and kills it instantly so like it, you you don't have a chance to like save it like it's just like if he if they get their mouth around it it's just dead instantly so like you have to be very very careful like to train them, not to train them that, because you don't, there's, you don't really get a second chance. If he gets, if they get their mouth around another small dog or a, a cat, it's like it's it's already done. Like if it's two steps, in, your dog's two steps in front of you, he's running away from you, and he grabs another animal, like it's that's it. Like you're done. It's you're not gonna save it, and that's gonna be it. And he listens very well when I tell him to drop things, like if he's got trees or bones or something like that. But if he gets a squirrel or a rabbit or a bird or a possum or something like that. It's very hard to get him to drop things, and he's trained very well. But when I tell him to drop something like that, he doesn't like to drop it. He likes to hang on to it because it's his, and he's he's proud of it, so he doesn't want to drop it. And the only way I can get him to drop those things is if I put a shock collar on him, and I beep it, or sometimes I even have to shock him. Because he, and even then, he puts up a fight about it. He does not like to drop them because he, uh, I mean, that's his, that's his kill. That's his instincts for the wolf, and he loves that stuff. So you got to be very careful with that stuff because I made the mistake of, letting him go after small animals like that just like just just not like cats or dogs but i let him go after like squirrels and um birds and rabbits and stuff and uh yeah it was a huge mistake i regret it so much now i wish i would have never done that but can't go back in time and fix it now but i will know for future and i, I try to train him now not to do it but it's just it's so hard to untrain them for that i mean he used to react to the word squirrel and like just ears perked up and he would go crazy and crazy after it but he doesn't stop it but he doesn't anymore because i've trained him not to see he's he'll, he'll laugh he's gonna bite me but he's not going to he used to react to that word a lot because you know he's like oh squirrel i'd say squirrel and he'd like go up run in the back door and be looking outside and as soon as i open the door he'd run outside and start chasing the squirrel but now he doesn't do that anymore because he knows that he's not supposed to do that anymore so he knows that word is not a good word anymore but he still chases them there's no doubt about that even though I get him in trouble when I see him do it. He still has those instincts that I should not have let him let him keep. Should have got that out of him. But just big, big mistake is don't ever do that. Don't ever train your wolf to uh, chase small animals like that. See, he hates his brush so much. It's okay, Bubba, it's all right. It's We're getting close to this. We're almost done with this side. Yeah, eat your food. Eat your food. Bring your bring your bowl over close to you, fatty. We're getting kind of close to finishing this side. I mean, it's looking like it's almost finished over here. There's still a whole lot more to get, but it's looking like it's getting close. And his his layer of fur underneath the, this winter coat, it's it's a different texture. It's like this stuff that I'm all pulling out is winter coat. It's very like soft and just like it's just like a really soft texture this is more like a wiry like it's just very thin and wiry and a lot shorter it's definitely totally different it's well made for keeping them cooler and letting the air get through easier instead of the winter coat is made for obviously keeping them <laughs> keeping them uh warm keeping them insulated and it works great because this dog can, can survive any temperature it does not care stop it stop it stop it Er, you're a tough guy, aren't you? Aren't you a tough guy? Aren't you a tough guy? Yeah, you are, aren't you? Yeah, you're not that tough. Get out of here. Get out of here with that nonsense. Did you 
here's this guy over here in the window like, let me come outside. No, because if I let you come outside right now, you're going to mess me up and not let me brush Bentley. Just a leg right there. My God. This is like, like a half day job. It takes so long. But it's worth it because he's a sweetheart. He's my buddy. It's worth it. It's a, it's a it's a it's a serious job getting a wolf and training them and keeping you know making sure they stay healthy and making sure it stays safe and training them properly so that nobody else gets hurt. It's very important to make sure you do things properly and do your research beforehand because it could end up bad. He's my this is my second wolf that I've had and they both took put a lot of training in both of them and I learn things every time. Every time, I learn more and more and more. And I make mistakes, but gotta be careful because those mistakes could be very serious. Because, I mean, like a small child, like I don't like him around small children either because he's weird around small children. He just acts weird around them, not the same. So I don't, I don't trust him around them. He's just really concerned. He's good around my son, but like, because he's used to him. But like other small children, he's really, really, really like fascinated by them. And it really concerns me. So I don't like to have him run other children. Like when I go camping and stuff, like I'll, I'll let him run, run along the side of our boat and he'll like swim next to us and stuff. But if I see kids, I'll pull him in real fast and make sure he jumps in the boat with us while we're floating past him. And people want to like pet him and stuff. I, I don't really like to pet, let, let, let them pet him, except for sometimes I will. But I will hold him and I'll like make him lay down and I'll like hold his head while they rub his belly or something because I don't want them to be around by his head. That's kind of what I do is I just kind of like flip him over and just like put his head in between my legs and I'll just like, you know, start playing with his like head and stuff, acting like I'm just petting him too. But I really just don't want them to be around his head because I don't want him to, um, them to like pet his face or anything. And he's, he's good about it. He doesn't do anything. He doesn't like try to like go after him or anything. It just makes me feel better because I don't, I'm just not comfortable with him the way he acts around kids. It's just weird. It's not something I want to learn. There's really no way to like, test that out to see what he would do you know it's like you can't just like let's see what he would do with this kid today yeah let's see and just see what happens because nobody's really going to put their kid up on the line for a to be a test test dummy he's like this is crazy look at this oh my gosh look at this just like chunks just need to come out oh my gosh He's gonna hate this one, but this one right here needs to come out like this. Oh, there you go, he's off. No, no. Okay, well, that was it. That's all we're gonna get out of him right now. He's not having it. So, here's what we got out of him today. Oh my gosh. Oh, just right there, just that, look at that, look at that. Oh my gosh, so much. So much fuzz. Holy Moses. Fill up trash bags for him. Alright, you feeling any better? You feeling a little cooler, buddy? He's like, no, get the hell out of here, Dad. <laughs> well, that's all for today.